Hi, and welcome to Step Up AT's videos on assistive technology strategies. In this video, we will be discussing behavior specific praise. Look, everybody, Ivan is putting his lunch in the trash so nice. And then that look. We also have videos on levels of prompts, adopt modeling to support language development, peer modeling, and wait time. So be sure to check those out. I like how you use the soap and you wash your hands very yeah. thoroughly. Yeah. Good job. Behavior specific praise is when you respond to a child with a positive statement that describes a desirable behavior in a way that is one, specific, and two, observable. When used appropriately, it can be an effective instructional strategy to increase a child's on-task behavior and compliance. Good job telling me what comes next. Using behavior-specific praise teaches the child the acceptable or expected behaviors in the classroom. Good job. In this example, we can observe a routine transition in a preschool classroom. Great job, everybody. Although Ms. Claudia addressed the child's successful transition with a positive tone, the praise is not specific enough for Stefano to understand which exact behavior he must continue to demonstrate each time he needs to transition from one activity to another. When giving a child a behavior-specific praise that will actually impact a child's future behavior, start by first saying the child's name and then describing the behavior immediately after he or she performs it using a genuine and sincere tone of voice. Good job, Stefano. I like the word you're taking the chair, you're pushing the chair inside, you sit down and now you're coloring. Notice how in this transition, Miss Claudia was very specific about which aspects of the transition she would like Stefano to continue to do. Tuck in his chair and walk to the designated area without disruptions. For behavior-specific praise to be effective, it must be age and developmentally appropriate. Great job! That's the letter K. You did a great job making the letter K with wiki skills. For younger children, they typically respond positively to verbal praise that is animated and enthusiastic. However, some children may have a harder time responding to behavior-specific praise. For these children, you may need to increase the frequency and carefully plan how to provide the praise. In this example, the children are engaged in a small group activity. Periodically, the teacher praises all the children engaged in the activity with non-descriptive praise. Good job, everyone! However, for Avery, who displays attention difficulties, Ms. Claudia might need to offer targeted, behavior-specific praise more frequently, every few minutes for the duration that Avery remains on task. Great job. You're doing good putting the numbers in the place. As Avery remains more engaged in the activity, Miss Claudia can decrease the frequency of praise. Other children might not be as motivated by verbal praise alone. In these instances, typically pairing the praise with a reinforcer or highly motivating activity might help. In this example, Stefano wants to play with the bubbles. He can't blow and is becoming increasingly frustrated. Miss Austin offers Stefano a switch to press, and, press the button. and the bubbles begin to flow. Stefano starts laughing and enjoying the activity. Miss Austin then offers a behavior specific praise. Look at Stefano, you made the bubbles come out. Good job. Remember to keep these key points in mind. Be specific and state the explicit action you want the child to continue to do. Be immediate. Use praise immediately after the appropriate behavior occurs. You're doing a really good job reading. Yes. Slowly. Be frequent. Use praise across classroom activities and settings to continue to promote positive behavior. I like the way you use your schedule. Thank you for joining. Be sure to check out stepupat.com for more resources on using assistive technology to increase early literacy outcomes.